A Texas state senators recently held a hearing looking into the actions of utility companies during recent storms. As some East Texas emergency officials say the government red tape has made their lives tougher, but understand why it's necessary. GMAT's Michael Richardson spoke with local officials across the region on what they hope to receive for future recovery efforts. I think it's just the the red tape of government. Smith County Emergency Management Coordinator Brandon Moore says this room is where communication takes place during an emergency. It was filled with numerous telephones and equipment ready to tackle a crisis. He believes more communication would improve emergency responses. Transparency from state and local levels would be great. Increased availability to, to subject matter experts would be really nice. The red tape does get cumbersome. In the days after Hurricane Burl, tens of thousands of DP Texas residents were without power, including in Polk County. Polk County Judge Sidney Murphy is similarly in favor of reducing steps for emergency responses. Maybe there's a way of categorizing the need or being able to um, to truly make them understand the severity of it. She says the state could bring this back. At one time, the state of Texas paid uh, the, all or a portion of your emergency management directors. And so that may be an area that the state needs to consider again. More highlights one issue with this field as a whole. The problem with emergency management is it doesn't get utilized until something bad happens. So it's hard to justify spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on equipment that might get used twice a year. For Good Morning East Texas, I'm Michael Richardson. Moore adds that individual preparedness is key in times of an emergency. He recommends having shelf-stable food, bottled water, and batteries in the event of a natural disaster.